Hey Makers, I'm Anna Kazunas France, reporting live from the floor of CES. I'm here with Matterform to learn a little bit more about their 3D scanner. It was funded after a successful Indiegogo campaign. And uh, Adam, tell me a little bit about the Matterform. Sure, so it's a 3D scanner, obviously, as you know. Uh, you can see it in its unfolded state right now, but uh, it actually folds up super small, just like this. Very cool, so for travel, take it with you. Travel, or if you're visiting your local makerspace, because maybe they don't have one or whatever, you don't all have to go and get them. Or if maybe your desk is like mine and you've got way too many tools on it and you don't have space for another one, we still want you to buy it. So it folds up and packs away. Fantastic. Well, tell me a little bit about how it works, build area, tech specs. Sure. So hardware-wise, it's actually really simple. Uh, going over the tech specs, it's about 7-inch diameter here, up to about 9 inches tall that it can scan, so anywhere within that volume. Uh, we're getting 200 micron resolution, which uh, is actually pretty good because most 3D printers that are FDM have 500 micron nozzles, so even though they have like 100 micron layer height, we actually have better resolution than most of them. Uh, how it works is uh, there's a turntable here that rotates about 720 times and then there's two lasers and a really simple little webcam, same sort of webcam that you would have at home. Uh, and after it does a full rotation, it raises up again, blasts it with more lasers, uh, and then just keeps going until it can't find the object anymore and then it's like, okay, I guess I'm done. Fantastic. So um, tell me a little bit about some of the challenges of you know, a successful campaign. Yeah, so when you're a maker, uh, you generally have this idea that when you make one of something, it costs this much, and when you make 10 of something, it, it costs less, and you do volume, and you assume it's going to continue in that pattern. You make more, it costs less. It's not how it goes at all. Uh, when you start making more after a certain point of about 100, it starts costing a lot more, which we did not expect because we live in an in a imaginary little world inside our heads. So. Well, you actually worked on creating this machine yourself, correct? I did. I, I did uh, the circuit boards and learned how to design USB hubs, kind of uh, trial by fire. Learning by doing. That's what we're all about. Fantastic. So I'm at CES and I'm just kind of asking all of the makers that I talk to and all the machine builders, you know, is making going mainstream? What's your take on that? Absolutely. There's so many more tools now than, than existed five years ago or ten years ago, uh, hardware-wise, but just you know, software and knowledge-wise. I mean, you know, Make Magazine, Instructables, all these places where someone can go and learn. I mean, you know, the barrier to entry is so much lower now and more affordable. You want to design something, you can, you can just do it. You can pick up the tools, and they're not expensive. You know, a 3D printer isn't $100,000 anymore. You can build one at home from scrap materials for 600 bucks. You know, a 3D scanner isn't $30,000 anymore. You can go buy one for, you know, 400 or 600 bucks. So you can even design them yourself if you want. Fantastic. Well, Adam, it was so nice talking to you. Have a great CES.